What this programme has shown is that we are facing unprecedented challenges as a result of the climate crisis and globally we're not doing enough. However, the innovative approaches we've seen and the commitment and expertise of those working in water and environmental management can make a difference, both in terms of mitigation and adaptation now and for the future. What we each do to care for our planet is the issue of our time. I'll leave you with some final words from those we've spoken to as we've made this programme about what they find rewarding about working in this sector and the attitude they think is necessary to find solutions to the climate and ecological crisis. Goodbye. I'm driven by, by making a difference, um, by working with some really great people, um, and by collaborating to create change in the world. It's making a positive difference to well-being in society and to the sustainability of the planet. The fact that we live in a world where things are so unequal and where people die from starvation and lack of water. And if I can make a difference in any way, I want to. If we can protect our resources, it changes and transforms the opportunities and the potential for millions. That chance to really get to grips with quite large significant issues that you know you can present nature as part of the solution it, it can be a win-win it's really rewarding especially when you you have these ideas about how to enhance the environment and then you can actually implement them and see the improvement happening before your eyes i really enjoy the challenge of the scientific analysis behind flooding um, and then applying the engineering principles uh, and sustainable principles to find the best solution all of the schemes, all of the designs, all of the um, initiatives that we bring forward are making a difference and it's, it's recognising the challenge that we have in terms of flood risk management and uh, biodiversity, wildlife, um, and doing something about it. Making the difference is seeing people's attitudes and their mindset change, seeing work being done on the ground that people really value. That added benefit of seeing the value that you're bringing to the community, you know, you get that satisfaction of actually giving something back and making the difference the opportunity to influence the outcome. You know, to come here and see a, a project that's going to be here for a hundred years, you know, that's a real legacy. I think the attitude is that it's a global emergency and it needs action now. I think everyone needs to get on board that it, it's happening, it's here, and we need, need to deal with it, you know, yesterday. We do seem to be still talking about the problem and um, we need to be actually um, you know, still talking but actually getting on and delivering solutions to the problem. So more action I think is, is needed. We need to go and kind of get on a wartime footing to, uh, to address this challenge. We've got to really start addressing this major issue um, at pace now if we are going to turn things around and get solutions in place that are going to be sustainable in the long term. We've got to learn new ways of working because we've got to do this at a pace that the world needs us to. Think outside of the box. Don't fall back on traditional thinking. We really do need to start to rewild our minds. Look for innovation, look for new ideas, look for how they can be developed and worked up and made to be mainstream. Actually, we've got to believe that we can do it, and we can, and we can see a lot of positive things around us. We're just not necessarily enacting them all. It's going to take trials and errors but I think as long as everybody is trying then that can only bring good things. I think we all need to be a bit more flexible and a bit more adaptable because you know we're only going to make a difference if we're willing to change. I know people don't like the word resilience but we have to look at situations where we can't do anything but the best thing is to let water flow in and flow out and recover from that so resilience is definitely a, a word that we have to use. I would say open-mindedness and collaboration because of the range of, of um, aspects and um, interventions you need to think of um, and people you need to engage with partners you need to um, think about we need to all be brave we need to be in innovative and we need to find solutions that work take collective responsibility for action we've all got to be part of the solution no one can do this alone unity of purpose and action and prioritize collaboration both at local and global levels. 
We can't do this, any of us, on our own. We have to work together. <laughs>